this is the all-new Mazda 3. And I'm here to tell you why this car is the absolute best in its class. We've taken this car to a first drive up in Baguio and through the high-speed corners of Clark International Speedway. Click on the top right-hand corner of the screen or on the description below to see that video if you want to. So, balik naman muna tayo sa Mazda 3 sa dana ito. Kalimitan, engineers and designers use CAD software to create the car's design. Not exactly with the new Mazda 3. Mazda's evolved Kodo design language uses the natural strokes of human hands in order to create the forms and shapes of the old new Mazda 3, which is evident through the lack of character lines with this car. The result? A compact passenger car that looks distinct and unmistakable on the road. The other result is the fact that the Mazda 3 has been crowned as the world's best designed car for 2020. It's an award that was given to Mazda by international journalists from the World Car Awards. Now, sa totoo lang, sawang-sawa na akong marinig ang mga car manufacturers sabihin na ah, we have the most premium interior, the most luxurious interior in the class, blah blah blah. But the difference with Mazda is, they actually walk the talk. This cabin is simply filled with so much luxurious materials and stitching details. Oh and by the way, they're real stitching details, not the fake ones you see on some other cars. Even the button clicks, the way the switches operate, they all have a level of quality you can even match with an entry-level Audi or an entry-level BMW. Even the base 1.5 liter vans have a premium interior. As for the back seats, well, if you're regularly going to carry people at the back, then you won't have any issues with the sedan variant. With the hatchback, I'm 5 foot 10 and I just about fit with not much room to spare. Though I have to say the seats are really comfy. Medyo mahaba yung seat cushion niya so even yung thighs mo ay may support even for tall people. As for trunk space, the Mazda 3 sedan's trunk is a bit smaller compared to the class leading Honda Civic. The Mazda 3 hatchback is even smaller, though because it's a hatchback, folding the rear seats down creates an even bigger space. Now, I've always preferred rotary knob controllers over touchscreens, and this is still very much my opinion towards this second generation Mazda Connect infotainment system. Menus are logically laid out, and the interface has a pleasant minimalist design. What's also a pleasure in this car is its Bose sound system. Actually, kahit yung bass 8 speaker Mazda harmonic sound system pa lang, sobrang ganda na. So much more sa Bose sound system ng 2 liter variants. And the best part? You can get the variant with the Bose sound system for just as much as 1.4 million pesos. And that price is still significantly less than the top of the line variants of its competitors. Under the hood of the all new Mazda 3 are the same engine choices as before, though with a few tweaks here and there for better fuel economy and power delivery. A 1.5 liter sky active G petrol engine powers the elite variants. On the other hand, the premium and speed variants are powered by a 2 liter sky active G petrol engine. Whichever variant you choose gets you a 6 speed automatic transmission, which is better and sportier than most CVTs of its competitors. So, first and foremost, as mentioned in my first impressions review of the Mazda 3, Mazda's engineers have concentrated on making this car a lot smoother and a lot more stable compared to its predecessor. So, as we exit through this corner, even at high speeds, we don't necessarily fight the G forces inside the car. So, the suspension tuning, the way that the engine tuning and the throttle delivers power and all that stuff is tuned to always keep your body upright. And it's part of that human-centric philosophy that Mazda is all about right now. So, first the steering. With this new philosophy, on-center feels much improved compared to before where a, a bit on-center of the steering wheel medyo dead yung pakiramdam niya. But with this new steering wheel, to achieve that smoothness that Mazda is aiming for with this all-new Mazda 3, on-center, 
response is a bit less compared to the previous generation. But what that means is that if you're going down a straight road like in a highway or an expressway, you don't need to do a lot of steering corrections. But the upside to that is, as you turn the wheel more progressively, the response gets better. As in, there's more, there's better agility in response once the wheels are already turned. So, once you're driving through a lot of corners, the Mazda 3 feels livelier actually than ever compared to before. The Mazda 3 suspension also deals pretty well with bumps. It's not exactly what you would call soft na parang Corolla Altis. Pero in the first place, Mazda's goal with the suspension tuning is to make the car fun to drive and at the same time, have a degree of comfort na kahit ibiyaya mo ng malayo tong kotse nito, hindi ka pa rin ngalay. Oh and speaking of that suspension, aware na kayo siguro na naka rear torsion beam suspension na ito. It may sound like a downgrade sa simula, pero without going too technical sa mga detalye, itong torsion beam ng Mazda 3 has a semi-independent nature. With less variables and parts to tune, this semi-independent torsion beam rear suspension was easier to calibrate and develop in order to meet the smoothness and the agility that they were aiming for with the all-new Mazda 3. The brakes also feel fantastic. They've made the brakes feel stiffer, much more progressive compared to the previous model, which means that it's really easy to modulate the brake pedal once you're driving in the city or basically even on the track. Assuming you would actually take this car on the track, but then I wouldn't mind you taking this car on the track because it's really a fun to drive car. Another aspect that's good with the all new Mazda 3 is its refinement. This is the quietest and most refined car in its class, bar none. Wala mo dong road noise, wala mo dong wind noise, ang sobrang tahimik niya sa loob. And then there's the engine. Now with the 2.0 liter engine, I believe this is the engine that's sakto lang for the car's body. It's not exactly fast, not exactly sluggish either. It's just sakto lang. It won't beg for more power, don't feel underpowered either with this 2.0 liter engine. The smaller 1.5 liter engine is pretty good for the most part. But out on the highway and provincial roads, the bigger 2 liter engine just feels better if you want to overtake a slow vehicle on a highway or even on a provincial road. As for fuel economy, both engines pretty much deliver the same fuel economy numbers. The all-new Mazda 3 starts at a little under 1.3 million pesos, which gets you the base 1.5 Elite sedan variant. For that price, you get automatic LED headlights, halogen daytime running lights, rain-sensing wipers, LED taillights, 7-inch digital instrument cluster, head-up display, the new Mazda Connect infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, 8-speaker Mazda Harmonix acoustic sound system, reverse camera, along with the first-in-class reverse link tilting side mirrors. Up next is the 1.5 Elite hatchback, which adds a leatherette interior and the sunroof. Next in line is the 2-liter premium sedan, and this is the variant that we actually highly recommend. This 2-liter premium sedan variant adds LED daytime running lights, adaptive headlight system, 18-inch alloy wheels, full leather interior, power-adjustable driver seat with two-person memory, 12-speaker Bose sound system, the best 360-degree camera system in its class, and the full suite of iActive Sense driver assist features, which includes front and rear automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, along with front cross traffic alert which is only unique to this 2-liter premium sedan variant. The 2-liter premium hatchback variant is a little over 1.5 million pesos, while the 2-liter speed hatchback variant basically adds a plethora of aesthetic upgrades, which includes unique front and rear bumpers, side skirts, and a lovely red leather interior. Now, here's the reason why the all-new Mazda 3 is the absolute best compact passenger car in its class. The world's best designed car for 2020 is able to deliver a sporty and premium experience you don't normally associate in cars in this class. Mazda is making a lot of bold claims with this car. But you know what? This Japanese automaker from Hiroshima is actually able to fulfill all of its claims. In short, Mazda has basically pushed the boundaries of what a compact passenger car should be.